The bubble cam is the first spherical camera available to everyone. It allows you to see everything around your world with zero blind spots. So how do we get started using this? How do you start recording footage? First thing to do is turn it on. You hold down the button until it starts flashing. There we go. There we go. Now, all the lenses are syncing because one of the biggest problems with like a spherical camera is you have multiple lenses, four in this case, and they all have to sync so you get lighting conditions proper as well as timing and speed so it's all syncing up. Okay, so I see four different cameras on here. Uh, is it mixing the video and photo together on the device or is that process after the fact, after it no, records things? All, so what it does right now is it creates what's called a multiplexed image. And I'll give you a quick example of what that means. So your finished video looks like this. Okay. Your 360. But prior to, we take four videos and put them all together in a single video file. So one MP4, four videos, streaming it out. Because who wants to stream four video files? It's too much bandwidth, too much broadband. Right. So we put it together like this, and we can broadcast it live. So we can see what this looks like when it records video live? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All you have to do is look for it, connect to it on your network. Okay, so it's like a router. Exactly like a router. They all, every camera has its own IP. And then we launch the app. Oh, look and, at that. Yeah, we oh. start streaming. So, hi, camera. Oh. There I am. Oh. Okay. So it's, so it's like us watching ourselves in full 360. Okay, so if I wanted to take a selfie with this thing, how would I do that? So you hold it up however you want. Okay. And I'm going to hit the capture app button. Okay. You're going to see it change to red. I mean, magenta first, and then it counts down three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, there so what's go. a selfie look like? Right there. So let's oh, so you can see the file system right from the tablet. Yeah, absolutely. So okay. you can see the file system directly on the camera from the tablet, and we're going to transfer the, the photo from there to here. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's so actually pretty high quality. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have like super high quality photos. Uh, the videos are 720p at 30 frames per second and 1080p oh. at 15 frames per second, but our photos are 14 megapixel photos, so you get some really good quality. So that's pretty neat that you can capture, you know, 360 degrees of footage, what everything looked like, even in video. But what kind of uses are people actually going to use? I mean, what do you bring that to? Like, it's sure. a pretty expensive camera. You know, mm -hmm. where are you going to bring it out and record footage all around you at? So at first, we were really looking at interactive, like interactive storytelling. Okay. VR headsets need a better way of producing content. Because right now, most of the VR headsets deliver like computerized 3D content. Well, why couldn't it, why couldn't it live stream a basketball game, or? bring you to a concert so you can record that. Or start creating new forms of television, reality TV, yeah. or movies that you can experience in like full 360. So those are the areas that I really like to focus on, but there's also, of course, real estate and drones, like the drone world is uh, really excited about this particular product. How much is the bubble cam gonna cost and where is it gonna be available? So right now you can pre-order it on our website for $5.79. Uh, eventually we're gonna be putting it out to retail at $7.99. This is much more of a professional camera. We right. do have a, a very, very consumer focus, and that price point should be coming down in 2015. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, no problem.